‫לבורטי לוי ולגיל שוויד, ‫זה מאוד מעניין. ‫אני רוצה להזמין את ירון ברוק, ‫יושב ראש חבר הנאמנים ‫של מכון עין רנד העולמי. ‫תודה רבה. אתם, ‫לטובת האורחים שלנו מארצות הברית, ‫אני אדבר באנגלית, ‫אז תסלחו לי, ‫אבל אני חושב שכולם פה ‫מבינים אנגלית. Um, thank you, everybody. This is, uh, this is terrific to see. This is our uh, third event. This is the third year we're doing this, uh, giving out the prize for the uh, uh, best startup uh, in Israel. It's, it's very exciting for us as the Ayn Rand Institute uh, to be part of this, uh, this event. Um, I, I want to I just thank kind of the people who really make this event possible and who are the visionaries behind the event, whether it's Richard Menz, who not only created the sculpture, but really this event was his idea, his vision. Uh, Carl Barney, who has funded this event from the beginning, and, and uh, you know, there are a lot of American funders who make this event here in, uh, in Israel possible, and um, uh, we, we couldn't do it without them. And of course, Boaz Arad, who you'll hear from in a few minutes, who, uh, who organizes this, who really puts it all together and makes it all work. So uh, thank you to all three of you. Um, Yeah, you can clap. That's good. You know, uh, it's obvious to think about, you know, why is the prize for best startup in Israel called the Atlas Award, and what is the relationship between it and Ayn Rand? Why Ayn Rand? What's the relationship here? Why? And really, I can't think of any better connection to make than the connection between entrepreneurs, between new companies between business leaders creating and building something new and exciting. And Ayn Rand, and in particular, the novel Atlas Shrugged. I mean, Atlas Shrugged is primarily an ode to the entrepreneur. Atlas Shrugged is a celebration of business. It is the only novel, probably, in all of human history that presents business, entrepreneurship, the profit motive, as noble and virtuous activities. Now, I know that all the startups here are going to be very successful and you're going to make a lot of money. But it turns out life is not just about money. While you will make a lot of money, you will also find that we live in a culture that often looks down on people that have been successful. You will often be perceived as being ugh, greedy, self-interested. You know, you work too hard. You're too focused on your own success and your own ability. And I view that as tragic, as sad. Entrepreneurs are the atlases who really do carry the world on their shoulders. They move humanity forward. Without business people, businessmen and businesswomen, without entrepreneurs, we would have no wealth. We would not have the technology we have around us that makes our life so easy and wonderful. We would have none of the benefits that we have today. We'd still be working on subsistence farms, making less than $2 a day, which was the fate of 95% of all of mankind 250 years ago, before the Industrial Revolution, before we had entrepreneurs and business people and the profit motive people creating and building and making stuff. So not only do I view, my man viewed, that you deserve the money you're going to make, but you should be proud of what you're creating. You should be proud of what you're building. What you're doing is fundamentally moral. What you're doing is fundamentally noble. What you're doing is fundamentally good. You are dragging, sometimes kicking and screaming, humanity towards a better future. You are making the world a better place to live. Every successful entrepreneur who does it honestly, who does it in a free market, who does it without lying and stealing and cheating and manipulating, which is 99.9% of you, is making the world a better place for the rest of us. That's the message that Ayn Rand conveys in Atlas Shrugged. And I think as a consequence, it is the appropriate link to make between her vision and between this award. And since women have been brought up a lot 
uh, in, in today, I'd remind everybody that the heroine of Atlas Shrugged is a heroine. Ultimately, Atlas Shrugged is about Dagny Tagar. More pages are written about her than any other character in the novel. She runs a railroad in a novel in 1957 when very few women were running anything in business in the world. Ayn Rand, in that sense, was way, way ahead of her time, like in many other respects. So, this is your evening, the entrepreneurs among us. Enjoy it. Congratulations for your success. Congratulations to those of you who will end up winning. And beyond the pleasure you get out of your job, beyond the monetary value you get out of your startup, uh, know that some of us appreciate what you're doing on behalf of, I think, <laughs> I, hate to talk, uh, I hate to talk for mankind, but on behalf of everybody on the planet, thank you for your hard work because you're making our world better. Thank you all.